Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk through foam injection liners and why they are a benefit to have inside your ski boots if you're looking for that ultimate performance and fit. So it's really important that we get the liner in the right, right way. So we open up the shell, put the liner inside, make sure the tubes are coming out in the right way and they're not blocked in any way, get the boot back uh, up to buckled but not doing the buckles up. Get the customer's foot prepared with the right pads that we need depending on the customer's requirements and get them into the boots. Once we've got them into the boots, we then get them up onto the podium. Now, it's really important that we explain to the customer at this point exactly what's going to happen, what we want them to feel, uh, and how the process goes to maximize the fit that we're going to get from these liners. So we're going to put the foam inside of the back of the tubes. And it's really important that as the foam starts to run down the customer's liners, that we close the buckles. So once that foam starts going in, once the customer feels it at the first buckle, we close it. Once they feel it at the second buckle, we close it. And once they feel it at the third buckle and fourth buckle, we subsequently close those as well. Then we just need to make sure that the foams come out of the front tubes. Assume as it's come out of the front tubes correctly, as we'll see in this video, we then close off the back tubes just by folding them over. And then we want to make sure that the foam is no longer running through, that it's starting to harden off. And after about 30 seconds, that should be the case. So we mix the two components together, attach it to the back tube of the liners. And then as you can see from here, we're now going to let that foam slide inside. Do a little pinch on each tube if we find that the flow is a little bit quicker on one side than the other, just to ensure an even flow through the liner. So as you can see, that's the left boot now done with the foam coming out of the toes there. So we're gonna just switch over to the right boot um, and get that one done as well. So right boot, shaking up the foam, ready to go. Attach that into the back part of the liner. And then we're gonna watch that foam flow into the liner. And I'm gonna just pinch one of the tubes there, as you can see, just to basically make a slightly more even flow. We ask the customer to flex back and forwards into the boot. And then as you can see there, we're closing the buckles of the boot as the foam starts to flow through based on the feedback from the customer. And we can now see it coming out of the toes. At this point, we cut off the liner, wait for it to harden. And then we're going to make sure that everything's good. If it is, we'll pull the foam cables out of the liner, as you'll see that I'm just about to do here. And then that will mean that we have more or less finished the process at this point. Once the cables are all pulled out, we then let the customer move off of the platform, stay in the boots for a few minutes while the foam continues to harden, and then we take them out of the boots. Have a quick check inside to make sure it all looks clean and tidy, and then let the customer's foot recover because they would have been under a little bit of pressure in there for the last few minutes. When we take the liner out of the shell, you can see there's a little bit excess foam, nothing major to worry about. We will take that away once it all settles down. We just wanna cover the holes with these little pads here to make it look a bit cleaner. So holes covered, little bit of foam still to take off, but that is the liner more or less complete and molded. And as we can see now, a lot more definition and a fully customized foam injection liner to give the ultimate fit inside your ski boots. Lastly, we get the customer back into boots to make sure they're happy with them. And then we are finished. We then advise the customers try them on again later. If they feel great, leave them. If they feel a bit tight, we recommend you keep them on for longer. Thanks for watching.